Alright everyone, it's Bee Mother here and I'm back with another review. Uh, this time we've got from HMO Collectibles, this is Mega Man X. And would you believe that this is the statue celebrating the 30th anniversary of Mega Man. Now, that's just another thing to put, throw on the list of things that make you feel old, isn't it? Uh, I remember playing a lot of Mega Man. I didn't play the Mega Man X series. I didn't have a Super Nintendo, uh, but I did play a ton of the early Mega Man games, especially Mega Man 2. That was my favorite one. I remember me and my friends, we'd run down to the video rental store and we'd rent that game as much as we could, play it for hours. Heat Man, I remember distinctly, used to kick our ass until we uh, finally realized that you could use the bubble weapon. Uh, otherwise, totally useless bubble weapon to defeat Heat Man in about three shots. Uh, this was, of course, before the internet. We couldn't look this up. Um, so, Mega Man brings back a lot of child good childhood memories for me. And, um, you know, let's get into the review and see, is this statue worthy of bringing back good memories for you? Uh, let's find out. All right, we're going to move into sculpt and design on this statue. And the piece was sculpted by Mufazal. He's sort of one of the, the main guys over there at HMO. Uh, so sculpted and designed by him. And, you know, it was really important to HMO to make this piece dynamic. They really wanted it to stand out. And so when you look at this guy, I'm going to turn him sort of to the side. You can see his legs, like... They don't have that straight line. There's a little bit of a curve there to the legs and the other leg as well. And that just gives them a real sleek and dynamic look. So uh, really nice job done there. Um, another thing you're going to notice is, you know, the knee bend. I mean, that was really important because they wanted to show some of the inner mechanical workings of the leg. Um, so really nice, nice way to add some detail to you know, I mean, let's face it, this is Mega Man. He's from the 8-bit era. Um, he's a fairly simple character design, but they've added some nice details there. And you look at the back of the foot. You know, you got the rocket boosters on the bottom of the foot. Um, but they've added so much detail in there to make it look a little bit more realistic. Because when you're building this guy in one quarter scale, I mean, you got to add something to it to make it interesting. Because, um, like I said, otherwise he's a fairly basic looking character. Uh, but I think they've done a really nice job. And the base. The base is sort of modeled after um, the weapon module upgrade uh, from the X Games. Um, so, n really nice job tying him into the game environment with the base. Um, and you might have noticed the light up feature. Uh, the light up feature on the base is, you know, it pulsates. So, it goes on and off slowly. You got the light up on the helmet. You got the light up on the end of his blaster and the back of his foot there. And to let, turn the light up feature on, uh, there's a switch around the front here. So you just on and off there. Uh, it takes three AA batteries to, to run the light up feature on the bottom of the base. So it's a really nicely done light up. Uh, really nice sculpt here. I think they've added a lot of details. You can, as I mentioned, you can see some of the inner mechanics and we'll talk more about those a little bit later because uh, there's a little bit more to that. Uh, but really, really nice piece. Uh, I like the face. You know, again, very simple character face, but they've added, managed to bring it, you know, into one quarter scale glory and it looks really good. Um, so really nice job here on the design and sculpt for this piece. All right, we're going to talk a little bit about the paint on this statue. The paint was designed by James TCE, super talented painter. Um, so you know that it was going to have a very high standard going into production. And let me tell you, I think the paint turned out near flawless on this statue. It's done so remarkably well. Um, you look at Mega Man, the dark blue areas that have a little slight sort of metallic look to it, a glossy finish. The lighter blue has more of a matte finish to it. Uh, and then you got sort of the purpley areas on his chest. And, you know, more of a matte finish there, but it's got that sort of metallic look to it as well. Really, really nice job. And when you look close at some of the, uh, the blue areas, there's just a little bit of wear there. Um, you know, so it, it kind of knocks down that glossiness a little bit. It makes him look a little bit more experienced. Um, and just a more of a realistic finish. So really, really nice job there. Uh, the face, um, really nice job. You got the bright white with green eyes. 
the, the outlining, the black outlining, which is so important on Mega Man. Nice clean job there. Nice clean black panel lining. Uh, just a really phenomenal job there. And you turn it around, you look at the rocket boosters, and they have that sort of scorched look around the outside edge of the, the jet engines there. And inside as well, it's that purpley sort of fi finish that you see around the edge of a jet engine. Really nice job. So nice and clean. And then you've got, this is a switch out booster module for his back. And same thing here. You've got that sort of scorched look around the outside of the, the engines there. This looks so, so nice. And I'll quickly, I'll show you how, that, how you switch that out. Um, the panel here, you kind of have to reach your, get your thumbnail right under that panel. Um, it actually tells you to do that in the assembly guide, which I'll show you in a little bit. But uh, if you're like me and you don't need no stinking guide, you'll fumble around with it for a little while and eventually figure it out. Uh, so you just kind of reach your nail under there, pop that little panel off, and you can see underneath all the detailing there on his shoulders. And then you can pop this guy in and you kind of got to make sure you get these two outside panels underneath the, his, the panels on his collarbone there. So you just slide that in underneath like that. And it's magnetic, magnetized and then you got the rocket boosters. More detail there. You know, the, the, each little jet engine looks great. Uh, you know, and the, I mean, there's so much there to see. The pattern on the inside of the panels. I mean, they've done so much nice things here. And the paint job looks great. So overall, paint job, excellent. Can't say much more than that. Okay, so quickly, before we move on to production and build quality, I wanted to talk about the packaging for this statue. I can see mine had the pleasure of being opened up by Canada Customs and apparently kicked around the warehouse by the FedEx staff. So you can see my outer shipping box is completely mangled and destroyed. So when I went to pick this up from FedEx, I thought, oh no, you know, this is not going to be good. But, um, you know, let's, if we open this up and show you what's inside, there is another shipper inside with the corner protection. You can see this box inside is in pretty good shape and I'll throw that on the ground there. And the art box is in pristine condition and the statue, I mean, was flawless. So thumbs up to HMO for the double shipper. All right, we'll move into production build quality for the statue. And as I mentioned earlier, you know, there is a guide here. It is useful. It does tell you how to put it together and how to take the back panel off more easily. Uh, so check the guide out uh, before you put it together. Uh, one thing that is not shown in the guide is that this cover on the base, on the weapon upgrade module, uh, actually does slide off. It's a little tight. Uh, I'm just going to move these down so they don't fall off the table while I do this, but uh, it is tight in there, but you can get it off. There we go. Okay, so that cover plate does come off, and there is yet more detailing inside that base. You can see that. Um, very, very cool. Uh, they've just given so much thought to this piece overall. It's crazy. So. First thing you want to do when you're putting this thing together is grab Mega Man's body. And so you've got him here. And there's a hole in the front of the base there. And you kind of have to get just the right angle for him to slide down. And you want to make sure you get him all the way down because that is the electrical connection for the light up feature. So then you want to go with the head. And same thing, there's like a peg there. And you want to make sure it's fully all the way down because, again, that's how the electricity travels between the body and the head. So slide that all the way down. And then you got his other arm. And it's got sort of a nice uh, velvety padding there uh, around that. So you just slide that in and it fits with a magnet. And then you've got your choice of back uh, piece. You can go, with, I like the rocket boosters, so we'll go with that. Uh, the rest of the way. So there you go. Nice and easy to put that get together and then you can fire up the light up feature there and like I said when everything's connected properly everything lights up. So 
uh, I mentioned earlier the inner mechanics of the piece. Now, uh, little known fact, uh, the X in Mega Man X stands for X-rated. I bet, you know, not too many people know this, but the folks at HMO uh, did their research and, you know, adding the details, the finer details like they always do, you can actually strip down your Mega Man. Yeah, that's right. The armor comes off. You can peel this off so you'll notice there's a little seam down the middle of all his armor pieces and you can just kind of peel that off. So yeah, you can go naked with your Mega Man. Um, and I'll, I'll just take it all off and I'll show you what it what it looks like. Uh, also, both legs come completely off. And you can see it's nice and easy to get off. You just sort of peel it apart. Make sure you got both pieces in your hand though as you're doing it so you don't drop one on the floor. Um, and then the one on the gun also comes off. And you can pull that off and then I, I kind of spin that around and pull it off the top. There's no, no armor comes off on the left arm. Um, just the right arm on the cannon. So there you have it. Uh, so jokes aside, I mean this is an awesome de uh, design feature. Uh, the, all the inner workings was designed by Mufazal at HMO and approved by Capcom and they worked really close with the game designers and the original um, creators of Mega Man uh, to make sure that they gave the ultimate respect to this character. So this guy's got really the is in the unique position to be you know different and original but still so authentic at the same time so such a cool design feature uh, I mean I'm probably gonna keep the armor on for most of my display time but it's so cool to see uh, just a really nice added detail uh, for the piece so uh, very very cool and then on the inside of the armor it's got that velvety finish as well some nice soft padding so when you put it back on, it's not going to scratch up that paint or anything. So, And they continued the really fine paint job in the middle or on the underneath. Nice metallic finish there. You, know, you got a little bit of color and things. So just a, just a top-notch piece all around. I mean, it's it's got a really nice, hefty feel to it. The pieces all go together. The packaging, as I showed you, was very good protected the piece perfectly even through a very difficult um, shipping period so just a fa fa fabulous production from HMO all right so wrap up time you can see I've got my Mega Man uh, presentable again with his clothes back on and you'll notice some of the armor pieces there they are a little bit loose they sort of can move around a little bit and that is by design that's to help uh, prevent breakage during shipping uh, and obviously it worked uh, on mine. So, um, you know, Mega Man X from HMO, I think it's an absolute gem. I think uh, if you're a gamer, uh, or, you know, you play Nintendo, any kind of gaming, you like Mega Man, I think you're going to love this piece. Uh, try to hunt it down. It's amazing. I love everything about it. The paint is excellent. You know, the sculpt and design, all the extra added details, the authenticity of it, uh, everything about it. I love this piece. Um, I mean, with our statue awards, our annual statue awards, we do a best gaming statue now, and I think this is going to be uh, a contender for that this year. Uh, it's just really, really a fabulous piece from HMO. So um, that's it for the review. Hopefully, you enjoyed it. Uh, more to come this year. We got lots more to come this year. So stay tuned to the channel, and we'll talk to you guys later.